as screen recorder. Video Hello everybody, and in this video we'll be doing another 2-in-1 on the Huawei T510, this time on Brave Browser Nightly and Brave Browser Beta. Now, first of all, before we continue, subscribe to my channel and like my page in the description. Now, many browsers or many browser uh, developers will do sort of a developer scheme where people can test updates which are about to be rolled out by the developers to check for any bugs or whatever. So that is why you see browsers with beta next to them is to test you know for upcoming updates and it looks as though that Brave have rolled, rolled out a similar system where they've got the nightly which resembles Chrome Dev and the beta which again what Chrome you know does Chrome do a beta version of the browser and again I'm not too sure why they've named it nightly as opposed to Dev because clearly you know if it's part of the developer system it would be more sensible to name it Dev short for developer but again they've taken Firefox's lead and named it nightly and again you know that's part of the developer scheme on Firefox as well so again we're going to compare the Brave nightly and beta side by side since they're part of the update scheme so let's see what we find now one thing that I did find was when I open the Brave Beta was it used it set the orientation to portrait which again while it may seem a small thing you know it would be nice if it stuck to your system preference now it looks as though there is a tutorial to the Brave Nightly to the Brave Brave Nightly I think yeah which is on the left yeah so the Brave Beta has the Brave Nightly rather has a tutorial to it unlike the Brave Beta and again it would be nice if you could get stuck in and again that tutorial on the left is really hard to get rid of both browsers could do with a proper home page on them in fact let me see whether creating a new tab can fix that problem yeah so creating a new tab has fixed the home page problem but again most most browsers you don't have to create a new tab just to you know see whether your browser has a home page or not so you do in the case of Brave Browser now you seem to have an unlabeled button on the Brave Browser Nightly followed by a Manage Account followed by a Manage Account system Manage Account icon rather on the Brave Nightly but one thing that I'm coming across on the Nightly is that the home page is quite difficult for screen reader users in the fact that when you are scrolling it keeps on saying new tab and again you know you could be hitting on icons fairly quickly but all you can be hearing is new tab new tab so it sort of creates a bit like a webbing format if, if that makes sense where things are in the web but the screen reader is sort of detecting the web more than the icons in it again I hope you know what I mean by that but again and also the split screen view is quite small and usually it will be around about this size I'm not too sure whether you can 
whether you you saw me amending the divider but this is the size it would usually be so this should give you a better view on the beta version so apologies if you had trouble seeing the beta now there is a new tab icon in the bottom right hand corner of the beta and nightly and again it might not seem that much of a big thing but it really can be a little bit detrimental in the fact that catching the new tab icon can sort of pose a risk of catching the overview button or the home button on your phone or tablet so you know that's something to take into account and both browsers have the manage account thing so there isn't really a lot of difference there let me see if I can bring up the menu on the nightly and I think the more options section on the nightly the more options icon is slightly narrow on the nightly than on the beta so we've got the menus up on both and we're going to compare them now so on the left hand side you've got new tab bookmarks recent tabs history downloads and you've got a set as default browser which you would usually find in the settings I've accidentally clicked on the brave reward so sorry about that let me cut the video because something has happened on the right hand side so I'll see you in a bit alright then folks we're back with you now and that notice saying that you've blocked some trackers suddenly came up on the right hand side which was uncommanded so again that's something you've got to be aware of and the menu in the beta and nightly isn't really all that different and then let us bring up the settings in both right then so let us have a look at the left hand side now first standard tab and it looks as though you can choose search engine for a standard tab and incognito tab which is fairly nice and you've got a home page behavior which is fairly useful although you can choose to turn the home page on or off rather than not home page behavior but again it would be nice if you could customize the home page as well as turn it on and off if desired appearance new tab page rate brave background background video playback and controls and here you've got a sync icon which really should be near the top of the screen and the accessibility section is quite far down and you've actually got a developer options for the nightly because it's a developer product so let us have a look at the right hand side now and it's sort of similar oh sorry let's we'll click on the accessibility in both browsers save sort of faffing around 
Right, man. Text scaling 100%. Text scaling 100%. Simplified, simplified captions. Split screen device. And again, the accessibility options are no different from Google Chrome because you've got your text scaling window, your two simplified view options and your captions which is fairly interesting so what we're going to do is we're going to test video playback now in fact what I might do is I might cut the video until I've got the video playing and then we'll be we'll be back with you two most egregious engine emissions that the EPA decided to control and minimize and what car manufacturers did to comply all right then hi I'm Ernie with we've got a video playing now and we're going to discuss those two bad boys And as you can probably see, the video is played fairly smoothly. And in fact, let us not test video playback on the left browser because, again, that would include more. Faffing, I don't, I don't really want to keep doing that. In conclusion, the Brave Beta and Brave Nightly are sort of not all that different in a way. However, there are some things that you do need to take into excuse me to account. First of all, is the home page. The home page is a bit difficult to navigate for screen reader users on both browsers. And also the home page isn't really customizable, which again is a bit of a bad side considering that its default home page is difficult to navigate. The settings options, there's not really a whole lot to them, other than you know you've got the developer settings because it's a brave because it's a developer product on the nightly. However, on both browsers the settings is quite far down. So Overall, I will sort of not recommend either of them and instead use Firefox or Chrome. Okay, I hope this helps. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos to come. And we will see you soon.